Okay. All right. Foregoing the introduction, we're going right into the movie. No introduction. Just, just, just what going it is. in. <laughs> we're uh, like, we're drinking a little. Uh, what is it? Ardbeg. Yeah, Ardbeg. The ultimate, or Anoa, Anoa. All right, let's try it. Let's see. Um, All right. Oh man. Yeah, it's. Oh, there is sweetness. That is weird, and I'm not sure I like that. Oh, what is that? Mm. Something lingering in your right on the, the back of the tongue. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh man, it is like cigarette smoke. You know what? You're right. Actually, <laughs> unfortunately. I mean, I'll finish that, but it is not pleasant. Mm -hmm. Oh, but why? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we saw. Amityville in space. Yes, that is correct. Amityville in space. And to get it all, so it's all sorted, directed Mark Polona, of course, written by Aaron Drake of House Squatch fame mm. and Mark Polona. Uh, we starring Titus Himmelberger. Yes. Uh, Jeff Kirkendall, Cassandra Hayes. And there was actually someone else I don't know. Cassandra Hayes, I believe, is the girl on the computer. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, my phone's there. There's I will. A, I will insert. There's the other name who was actually really Na good. Uh, Natalie Himmelberger. Is that who that was? Oh, maybe that's who that was. Yeah, because there's only there was only yeah unless it was the old lady, the lady and the reporter. Right. So there was someone else who was the star. I'll put the name here. She was she was actually really good. Yeah. So. We, we expand on the Amityville legacy in space. We do, indeed. So, John, what is this movie about? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's something I'm, as I was always watching these, these, uh, these uh, movies, I, I'm like, okay, let me just focus in and just get the story, or the basic story, the bare mm -hmm. bones, but... Let's see. The <laughs> the Amityville house is, you know, is on the news. On the news, it's haunted. It's you know, uh, it's got a, a priest coming in to exercise the whatever spirit and uh, evil inside, um, and what <laughs> ensues after that battle. Mm -hmm. You know where the priest loses. You know the the house goes into space, and I guess I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. Yeah, maybe you can enlighten me. Um, but then we go into a thirty. Was it three thousand thirty-fifteen? Fifteen. And we're on a spaceship, and uh, <laughs> yeah, thirty-fifteen looks a lot like yeah, yeah. Uh, but we're on a spaceship with new characters, and they have spotted the house in the sky um, alongside uh, a pentagram and uh, a, uh, a black hole. This particular team of um, this particular crew on the spaceship is tasked with annihilating uh, black holes across you know this galaxy, and um, their mission. I don't know how many they had in their mission but uh they have one more and so in their pursuit of uh, annihilating that one they come across this primitive dwelling uh which is the house the amityville house just sort of suspended in the sky and uh you know wackiness <laughs> ensues or evil ensues um they come into sort of a collision course with it um I feel like you just wrote the script. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I, it's like I just relived the movie I don't that I know just watched. I just came up with that, but that's that's what I saw. No, that that is a uh, that is the movie for something that you know. There, there's all those Amityville movies yeah. now. Like they're just they're everything. This works. Like I mean, it's completely absurd. It's it's right. it's, it's it's very much in a Polona vein. There's there's no denying this is a Mark Polona film. But it works, right? It's definitely you know the Mark Perlini camp. Mm -hmm. It has a lot. It's very campy. It's uh, which is his thing, which is yeah. you know his wheelhouse. And uh, <laughs> you know you have his his 
a lot of his usual players, yeah. you know, come back. Um, you know, usual costumes and stuff, and then, you know, the, uh, what would you call it, a, a spirit, a demon, a... Yeah, or like you said, what was it, Gorilla Kylo Ren? Gorilla Kylo Ren, that's <laughs> what it's kind of what it, kind of interesting, though. Yeah, I like that they, uh, they decided to give the spirit a look. Yeah. It, once again, it was a full, like, gorilla outfit, or we think it was from one of the gorilla movies he's done, in his Kylo Ren gear. Right. But with regular hands. Yeah. <laughs> that does take you out, but, you know, I, I, it's a choice. It's it was a choice, a choice but uh, that was the best part. It's like, wow, that looks really good. You. Wait, is that a regular hand? <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, but what? Come on. Put on the... the, the. Like, even Black Gloves, go fight full, full Kylo Ren, you know. Just Black Gloves would have been great. Yeah. You know, that's what I, well, that's what I would have done, Mark. Yeah. But I'm not the director. But you are not the director on this one. Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> but it, it, it um, you know, like you said, it did sort of focus in on, you know, what it was supposed to be, the sort of right. battle between or um, sort of this evil spirit sort of overtaking the people on this ship. Um and, and then, remotely through the computer. And remotely, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's wherever it wherever it deems wherever, yeah. necessary to to inflict its um, you know evil wrath, it did that. So, yeah. um, so you just, again, you just go along with it. You right. know, the whys, the hows. Don't yeah. Don't don't, don't overthink yeah. anything. Don't don't overthink like there's a camera crew. Yeah. And then there's a cop with a beret sort of smoking, but then there looks like another cop on the other side of the police line for yeah. some reason, but no one else around. No. At all. And and, and no one's gonna be around. It's just it is what it is. This is this is what you you go, Well, why aren't there why aren't we populating this area and this yeah. area? No. You and I work in yeah. and tell uh, we we work on shows that have plenty of money to right. get all the people in there and do all that. Some would say but this is an fun. excess amount of money. Yes. <laughs> on on a on a on a uh, one hour so, TV show, um, it's a lot. It would be a lot of uh, Mark movies. Oh man, you could, one for the grandkids or the great grandkids. I mean, just <laughs> it, a if lot you to have know. the last name Pomona, you could make a film for the rest of your life right. on the budget of one of your TV shows. <laughs> exactly. Um, so let's get into performances. So Kirk and Dahl, great as always. Like. It, this is his wheelhouse. The, this, yeah, he's 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 in. He's dialed in. He's as yeah. Father uh, B B Brannigan. B uh, B is it Brannigan? I want to say something with a B. Father, uh, Father, uh, something. We uh, one thing I do want to say is that no matter what their performance is, everyone seems to be having a great time making this movie. And if, and if it was, like I mentioned to John, like if it is that Natalie Himmelberger, like if that's who that one girl was, she, she went all in, but there was something on her face that she knew what she was making. <laughs> like she never like discounted right. what she was making, but in her, like it, it's something like some people can like project really well. Like she knew what she was making right. without giving a phoned in type of performance. I thought she did a really good job, but you could see that she was like, I'm making Amityville in space. That's the movie I'm making. And I'm gonna give it my 100%, but you can see that is the movie I'm making. Which, it didn't take anything away. It wasn't like the performance took out, but like, you could see. She knew what she was making. Right. Yeah, I mean, look, I wouldn't say anyone's performances were, were, were great you know in terms of the realm of mark right yeah i mean they all um especially the like kirk and doll and Hilbert, the people who have done you know yeah. 80 or 100 right. of these you know they um they seem to know yeah. <laughs> what, what 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 the movie is and and they kind of go go all in it's it's good to see people that are or in it, yeah. you know, and, and are, are committed to it. Right, like I think, like I mean, we always say, it's like, uh, like Kirk and Dahl always gives it 110%, and he's always fun to see, because he gives it, he gives you something interesting yeah. to Yeah, he's going to do something different and interesting. And I, I would only say it's like, it, it's not even, 
and it might have been a choice. I was actually, I thought, I don't know if Himmelberg was playing it in a certain way, but I think because our last Polona film was um, House Squatch, which this is a much better film than I think House Squatch was. Mm -hmm. But Himmelberg's performance in House Squatch was, oh, that was like goodness. one of those ones where I thought he was dialed in. He had the hat, the glasses, the, the arm was bandaged up. But it was like also like he had the beard. There was something about that like, he chewed scenery I, I, in that yeah, movie. I, see, I agree with that. That's what you're saying. This one was like, I don't know if he was going for like a 60s, 70s, um, uh, almost like very early, early, like uh, Captain Kirk sort of monotone performance mm -hmm. before Captain Kirk became like over the top. Like it was very, very one note. And it was kind of like, at first I was like, oh, maybe it'll change a little bit. But I, I just, I, I kind of expected a little more. Right. But once again, He's still him, but you expect... Like, I thought he was going to chew a little more scenery. Yeah. I would have liked a little more scenery chewing. Yeah, I, I thought... Um, I expected a little more, too. And I wonder... I don't know, but I wonder if he was doing that. If he was doing, like, a thing. Like, going after the character. You know, having that sort of monotone... Um, sort of delivery of the lines that are just sort of um i don't know wrote it's just not because like those 60 and 70s mid-mod style sci-fi uh space movies the captain or someone was always like like properly stiffed yeah. and just this is what we need to do there's no up or down it's focused and maybe that's what he was doing but i think after house squatch where it's like he was he brought a level that, you know, for the movie, what that movie was, he was the best part of that film. Yeah, 100%. I wonder if, you know, um, but, but so then you know he can do some other stuff. So yeah. it's like, he would have, it seemed like he would have given a different yeah. performance if that's what he wanted to do, but he right. was going for it. It's probably what you're saying. He was yeah. going for something. Yeah, it's like, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to the, the, the films I grew up with. Like, yeah. I, it was like we call channel nine here or channel five the kcal like the sort of public stations growing up the weekend movies at three o'clock right you know after the monsters have finished airing goes to these movies you've never seen you're like what is well, this yeah, what is this? i've never heard of and it. you know you see the rocket on the string mm -hmm. <laughs> you know but you cut into the exterior or the interior of the, the spaceship and speaking of which set design mm-hmm the house is the house. We've seen this house in, I don't know, like four or five of these yeah, films. Yeah, the house I mean, is the same house, which I I don't know. I kind of appreciate, um, you know, sort of repurposing it for something else. Yeah, I mean, it's a house. That's all it's, it needs to be. It's a house. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And it's a lived-in home, someone's home probably. Yeah. It might be Mark's home. Right. Um, but as far as the spaceship is concerned, I mean, look, uh, it, he's not going to... Any movie that's you know, if a movie's like twenty million dollars, it's right. not going to have a great spaceship set, right? Um, unless it's listen to like, isn't that crazy that they? I like, know if a movie's twenty million now, it's not going to be that good, right? You know, that's just, insane. I know. It's just like it's what it takes to make a uh, to build that, and yeah. also takes what it takes for if you have a spaceship movie you probably have actors who costs yeah a lot of money, right? And then you have a lot of different things, so. For instance, going to like Star Wars or something like that, you know, there are many um, different builds that you have on different sound stages. Uh, well, for Star Wars to be around the world, but like you can't do that, you know, yeah. on a on a, um, a budget of you know twenty million dollars, which is ridiculous right. because you would think you should be able to build a pretty yeah. nice sized uh, spaceship. Uh, yeah, and twenty million dollars, you you would have the one spaceship. That's, that's it. You have the one set. Yeah. You are going to be on the bridge. That's it. That's for it. your twenty million, you better hope you have a ninety-minute script right. on that bridge. <laughs> exactly. That's it. Exactly. So this, this, this movie. You know, it's it's more about like what you do with what you do with the money that you have and right. the um, imagination that you have. And so that's what's sort of fun about it. It's right. sort of like I know I'm not expecting you know, something like Star Wars or Avatar or anything like that. I'm expecting 
you know, you to take what you got and and, yeah. and and show us. And I think for what he had, I thought it was pretty good. I actually thought the the sort of like stock shot of the actual built uh, hallway or um, um, I guess you would call that corridor. A corridor. Yeah. yeah. I think that 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 sort of was used well. I mean, yeah. yeah I mean, like. We could see people coming in front of the stock shot. Yeah, but but you, but yeah, you, that but first you get one, it. that first one he used, and and, and oh, they're the slowly zooming great. zooming in on it, and it was like, did he yeah. get a location? Did I know? Is this built? It worked really well. It looked great, and then all of a sudden we both said at the same time, stop shot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, and it was, but I have to say, what was the other space? movie we saw with the with the, when we first were um initiated with the it was the uh, dune world dune world where they all had the 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 astronaut outfits yeah and when i found them on amazon for like 20, right. 25 dollars <laughs> and it says astronaut <laughs> yeah those um well this i felt like the design in this one was a lot better than that one like i yeah. felt like you know like you said we don't know the layout of the spaceship i think in order to do that you know, he'd need, he'd need a lot more. Yeah. But I thought that the choices of the stock shot, which was really yeah. good. Right. Um, and certain rooms, I mean, yeah, you have the thing with the foil in the back. I don't know what the foil is. He's used it a few times. I'm okay with it. I yeah. just, it is what it is. But at least you get a room where you get these characters in there and you know what they're supposed to be doing. Right. You know, so I, I mean, I, it struck me the set design in this movie as far as the space stuff that he's mm -hmm. done as being one of the better ones right because i because i remember on i think it, i think it was doom world because then it was the one guy who didn't quite fit into his space outfit or whatever and then, and that was sort of the same thing with the robot where when it was shot from here like a medium up actually that was really good like yeah. i thought that it was good except when he would turn towards the camera and you could see the camera in the mirror yeah. but like the robot like itself for being a robot what they were trying to do was really good until you went to a full and then it's basically me sort of being heavy set into a metal outfit once again don't care it's awesome it it works right and and like yeah like if you keep you know like the sets tight like he did you know so you you have the two that are in like i guess the command center or whatever that's where tim hatch was and um i'm gonna say natalie himmelberg and titus yeah were in that set and they're like okay that's great and then you had shades who was in his set where he was shot this way so he could see the computer so he could just do that stuff like that's great using corners of areas that are set designed well right. you know like it's like okay this is great i mean you could remove a few things here and there and just sort of be a little tighter on different things but you know because you know I, when you see a, a wooden door with a door stop you're like i i know we're not on a spaceship but also right. i don't care like I'm yeah. already, I'm in it. I don't care, but that type of stuff always makes me laugh. It's like, oh my god, this looks really. Oh, there's a door knocker, or you know, or a door, door protector, or something, which totally. is funny. Yeah. Um, I guess that was it too. I thought Tim Hatch was really good. He's the the bearded guy mm -hmm. who was always sitting down, like, because his performance in How Squatch was interesting. It was interesting. I would uh, I would definitely say he was a he was a little more um, on point in this one. <laughs> yeah, I can I can make sense of of his character in this one. For sure, um, yeah. he was a little more relaxed. In this yeah, movie. a little more uh, like it's like I, I get this. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm making Amityville in space right now. Absolutely. Yeah, like the yeah, like a lot of the design of everything is almost there. Like once again, we're nitpicking. This movie probably costs yeah. like two grand or something, or maybe a little more. I don't know, but like our nitpicks are so small. Like, but it's also little things we felt like you could have solved, like um, the gorilla, you know, space uh, gorilla Kylo Ren. Right. You put black gloves on. It's kind of interesting. I mean, yeah, it's a little thing. You just, yeah. It's just like one little thing. But it, once again, it's like it didn't have, didn't didn't take me out. It wasn't like well, right? Yeah, it's just you know if if it you know I mean the gorilla doesn't. Yeah, yeah, you, you gotta have to go with yeah, that, right. You gotta have to go with it. And you see the initially you see the hands. You're like, come on, but then you go. Okay, all right, I'm still with you. I, yeah. I get it, you know. Yeah. I mean, it is the gorilla Kyle Ren, so. Yeah. 
I mean, what do you? <laughs> it's so so they're not gloves. And then. we're also watching Amityville and yes. Exactly. So like you know, you just everything goes down like a, a like a peg. I think you know when you're on set, you're probably like. We're making Emmy to be in space. Yeah. That's what we're doing. We're having a good time with with friends. We're yeah. having a good time. You know, it's gonna be you know, three to five days of making fun. Yeah. You know, and you know they're not cranking like nineteen hour days or anything like that. No. I I hope not. Are you cranking nineteen hour days? <laughs> exactly. If you're so like, stop making nineteen hour days out of this. Like you could you could knock this out. Um, I, I do. Yeah, I don't know. I, if there was something about this one is. I think too. Also, I felt like the stock shots were brought down because some of them. Um, I feel like on some of these Mark movies, that's where they pad the time a little bit. Yes, we had the stock, the the spaceship, oh, yeah. and yeah. the black hole. The best is this frame, which I'll post here, which is the house, the pentagram, the black hole, and the spaceship. In the spaceship in the same, yeah. just in one spot. It is <laughs> fantastic. But I feel like a lot of times he'll pad. Um, like stock shots totally in a way yeah. like i mean like the way the opening all these movies once again it's not a detriment it's what these movies do the opening and end credits are like two and a half minutes long and it's the exact same thing and you're like okay well there's five minutes of my runtime, and then right. some of the other ones will be like stock shot stock shot of things you're not even you know that you didn't even shoot you right. know it's like oh my god you're just you know padding time i felt like these were used correctly like you oh know, yeah, it's yeah like, definitely. Oh, I, we're establishing we're going back to the spaceship. We're establishing we're going to the house. You know, so it's like, oh my god, this is. I would have never thought Amityville in space would have been the most cohesive right. of these I've seen <laughs> since probably Sharkenstein back in the day. Oh, wow, they can go back. That's going way back. Back to two thousand. Uh, what was that? Seventeen. Seventeen. When, when we watched that. Yeah. Oh my god! Remember seventeen? That was two thousand seventeen. It was. <laughs> Not a pandemic in sight. Yeah. Oh my god, and I'm still young. <laughs> I had shorter hair, but I was young. Any other thoughts on the, uh, Amityville and Would they think that was that sort of light or um, glow? The or... demon eye thing? No, you oh. remember there was a glow? Oh, okay, yeah, I guess that was it. That would be my, my other small little nitpick, as I didn't understand the glow everyone had on their face, but not consistently. Like at first I thought we were gonna see outside a window and it was gonna be like the sun or the black hole reflecting, but it was like this power window over people and it was sort of given this like yellowish orange. Yeah. But then not the whole time. Like I I understood when I think it was the demon or whatever was talking to um, Jeff Kirkendall and it was on him. I was like, okay, maybe it's the, the light or it's the, the presence of the evil or something. But it was such a weird... I didn't understand that filter. Yeah. Like, the snow I get, whatever. It's a filter snow. It gives it texture yeah. or whatever you're trying to, to go for. But uh, that would be the only thing. That would probably be my only question was, like, why why was that power one? It was weird. Yeah. Because it wasn't consistent. Because then all of a sudden you would... It cut, wasn't, yeah. If we're, we do the, the, the close up of, you know, it was like Tim Hatch and uh, Titus, and it would be on them talking, but then we'd cut to the, an angle, and it wasn't on them. And it's like, but why? Like, like why is it there? Why is that a choice? And, yeah. you know, I can't always question every director's motive. It's like, well, I wanted it. I just thought it was a, a texture. But yeah. without knowing a source or anything, it felt weird. Yeah, I, I didn't know either. First, I thought, is that just a light that's. Yeah, because at first you thought it was like on, a production light or something. Yeah, production light that's just not, you know, doesn't have any diffusion on it or anything. Yeah. And it's just like, ah, it's just blaring. And yeah. they try to correct for it and it <clears throat> went into that sort of space. But, um, but you're right, it, was, it wasn't consistent. So it was just like, I don't know. Is is it a, is it a, is it, is he saying something with it? Is it, I, I don't know. Right. But and then to the, odd. <laughs> those other things were the C stand holding the like the white sheet. Yeah. It's like I mean, I get it, it's it's set design, but iron the sheet. Unless it yeah. has something to, unless it's supposed to be a space sheet or the the freshly opened curtain. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think was a blackout curtain or something. It was like you could see it was just completely just opened. But once again Yeah. It, it but that would I, I, it's almost in a way if those things were gone, then you start noticing other things. Right. You know, where there, it, it's that fun level of like you're watching this and you're like, you're in the house. You're like, oh, fun. They're in that house. Oh, they didn't do the curtain. But it's like, I think maybe because that sort of helps, like, you know, it sort of puts this grounded realism in no, it. No, totally, totally. And 
iron your curtains, iron your sheets. I yeah. mean, it's just, it's one of those things where on a lot of sets, I'm sure they don't have like a, um, yeah. a steam iron and yeah. on set, but it's, well, it's a house, I don't know. <laughs> but, <laughs> but a lot of times you'll get, you know, um, something where you'll have a, a, sh a curtains or something that don't quite work or somehow the director's like, eh, I don't really like that. And you'll send a PA to go get some right. sheets or something, and then it's like, well, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta go. Just put them up, and you put them up, and they always forget. Oh, we got to iron them. Yeah, which takes time. So it's like, even if you have a steam iron there, you're like, well, how long is it gonna take to do that? And then you know, oh, it's gonna take maybe 15 minutes or 20 minutes. You're like, oh, we don't have that time. Yeah. But you look at it and you go, every time you get in the edit, you'll be like, oh, we should have done that. That's... Do we have an ADR line? The new curtains look good. We need to steam those. <laughs> and just look at the camera. <laughs> well, and once again, I'm guilty of it. I directed a music video when I was a child, um, like 20 years ago or something. I was going for this really cool look. I've had all this really cool silver fabric and I just wanted it behind the band so it gave this cool reflection. Yeah. And I tried to make sure it was like rolled up because I knew I was going to a place I couldn't do anything. And it's like, once again, I see the creases, but I also try to over contrast it in color. But right. once again, that was, once again, me being by myself. And I get it. You put it, you put it up and you're like, oh, we should have ironed that. Well, we're shooting in a minute and we're on a thousand dollar budget and it's That's... a crew of... Three. That's so, it's it's a, that's a hard decision. So you, you know, just get some time you just go. You know. So I mean, I, I get it. I mean, yeah. I was like, I was like, oh, I should have. But once again, I didn't even know how to iron. It was like silver. Like it was this weird silver material. I, don't know, I was like, the, in, in was that, like what, point, whatever, ruined it. And at that point, yeah, you just with curtains. But yeah, at that point, you just, no, you just. You and it's a music video. And no one's looking at that. Yeah. Too. It's like it's all about being snappy in the yeah. music video. <laughs> you don't want to ruin it, so you're like just. Go over. Like you said, it's it's about the music. Video. Yeah, exactly. It was, it was a music, music video. It was a different time. It was the 2000s. It I was think. a different time. Amityville in space. It's Amityville in it's, space. It's exactly what you think it's going to be from the people that make the film. Right. Amityville in space. It was <laughs> probably my. I would say definitely one of my um, top mark. Uh, Plona films in the last couple we've seen. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I think sure. it was just the most cohesive story, which is weird to say about Amityville in space, but I felt it was like the most cohesive story. Yeah. Even though it's still completely bonkers. Right. I dug, dug all the performances. I thought, like, everything clicked in this one. I don't know. Yeah. Don't know what it was about it. I it think, just, you think it, streamlined, it streamlined the story. For me, it streamlined the story. Sometimes, you know, he'll get a story and then, like, there'll be a lot of other stuff going on, like Chaffa, as Bruce Willis would say. Chaffa. Uh, it, it, it wasn't a lot of that here. Mm -hmm. So I think we, you know, it's just sort of stuck to, you know, um, sort of the A story, uh, yeah. if you would, if you will. Um, and I thought that that really helped it, you know. And maybe that's it. I think you're right though. Like, I think a lot of times gets locked in the the chuffa and b story stuff yeah. where it's like oh look what if i do all that it's sort of that look, look look what i can do yeah and it's like well what if we just focus on this one thing and yeah. it just sort of like everything click. although nokia soul in this one you know that was the one missing so when pulled, element when he pulled up it wasn't no it wasn't, it wasn't the kia soul. soul that's right it wasn't it was the one thing missing to make this a mark yeah. polona or is the Kia Soul what makes the other ones not as good as this one? That's might might be it. He's like, I get you know what I got to do. I got to get rid of that. <laughs> the, 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 the Kia Soul was his uh, his Cutlass, his Sam Raimi's Cutlass. This one was soulless. I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. This had no soul. Yeah, <laughs> could have used more soul. Yeah, like if he pulled up in the the Kia Soul, this movie, right? <laughs> complete circle. <laughs> circle. All right. All right. Thank you for joining us on Amityville Absolutely. in Space. Mark Plota, please. Oh, and enjoy it on Tubi right now. Tubi. You know Tubi. Because you know, it's Tubi. It's, <laughs> <that makes sense. laughs> it's Tubi. Uh, you'll have to sit through commercials, but it kind of makes it charming. Yeah, in exactly. a way, it feels like that. Like I like talked about earlier, you're watching it after school. It's 3 o'clock. You're watching a you know, a one hour or a 90 minute movie over two and a half hours worth of commercial. Actually, it does work here. Yeah, the commercials work. I yeah, mean, as far as like that break and, you know, because it's a campy sort of fun. And that makes us talk about movie. like the minute yeah. like the commercial exactly. starts, it's like, oh my God, why was the, 
reporter holding all the cor- you know it's just, it's fun all but, right <laughs> all right thank you for joining us on um post apocalyptic i guess we never even said it this is the post apocalyptic show hey, post apocalyptic hey what well, happy new year yeah, happy new year <laughs> we're getting into the swing of things in the new year it's our first one it's february and it's our first one back yes um thank you for watching and until next time until next time hey we beasties in the smoke in the smoke I drink it too fast considering I don't like it. Mm-hmm. I don't know that this one is interesting, the Ana Oa. It is interesting. It's sweet though, like I don't. It does have a sweetness that I thought I wouldn't taste in there, but it does have a sweetness. Oh, there's something weird about it, but enjoy. Mm-hmm.